how to make google forms automatically collect emails from people who are going to respond to the form hey everyone welcome we hope you're all good. You're doing great basically we're going to discuss how to allow it so that google forms is always going to collect um, emails from your future google forms so what do i mean by that right now if we just go ahead and get started with a blank form and if we just go ahead and create a uh example form here and let's just go ahead and add a few questions so question one with a few options here and then we also want to add another question which is going to be question two with a few options here now once this is done if we just go ahead and save it as it is and send it out and have it so that you know we copy the link and everything uh, and we go ahead and send it out to us uh, to a specific person or you know a group chat or whatever it may be and they open it up let me just go ahead and open up a new browser here real quick just to show you what i mean and if they open it up by default it should not collect emails so if we just go ahead and open this up let me just do that again you can see that by default is not going to collect any emails. You can just go ahead and continue on and submit the form. I'm not sure why it is in Arabic, but this is pretty much the submit button. And it just allows me to submit it easily without having to sign in, as you can see. Now, obviously, you pretty much know about, you know, going to settings and then you can just go to um, here responses and make sure the collect email addresses is turned on to verified and so much so so on and even the limit to one response option is going to be set to off but you can just turn it on and now this email should accept uh or uh, you know be re required to actually collect emails but you know this is going to be a tedious task every time we want to create a google form we want to do this Instead, we can actually go ahead and set it up so that it is automatically, whenever we create a new form, it is going to be required to uh, collect emails. So how do we do so? First, just go ahead and open up any form that you have. I'm just going to open it up, uh, open up this one for the sake of it. And then from here, you want to go to settings. And then you will go scroll down a little bit and then you will find the defaults. So whatever you set up for the default settings is going to be set up for future forms so you don't have uh, mistakes in the future is always going to be uh, set to these defaults so form defaults here first go ahead and open up this one collect collect email addresses by default this you want to turn it on to verified and then also here you have the questions the defaults so, so whether you want to make the questions required by default or not you can also turn this on or off. I'm going to actually go ahead and turn them on. Now, whenever you actually create a new form, it's going to be automatically required to sign in. And also, uh, all the questions are going to be required. So let's just go ahead and test this out. Now, if you want to make it unrequired, it's going to have, you have to actually make it manually. So there you go. I'm just going to create another form here. Test form two and then here are a few questions just one question for this time uh just one more actually one more so two and then just another option here okay so now we want to send this new uh form again let's just go in and copy this and again i'm just going to open up a new tab as you can see with this new tab it's not signed in if i just paste the link Hopefully it's not in Arabic. It is in Arabic. Let's just go ahead and translate that real quick. And it's going to say log in to continue, as you can see. So we just created this form, but now it does apply the default settings to it. So this is all for today's video. Hopefully you found it to be informative and thanks for watching.